The Turtle and the Rabbit Once upon a time, in a lush, green forest, there lived a turtle named Timmy and a rabbit named Ricky. Timmy the turtle was known for his slow and steady pace, while Ricky the rabbit was famous for his speed and agility. Though they were different in many ways, they were good friends who often played and explored the forest together. One sunny day, Ricky and Timmy were sitting under a large oak tree after a long walk. Ricky, full of energy, was hopping around excitedly. Timmy, he said, I bet I can run to the end of the forest and back before you even reach halfway. Timmy smiled and replied, maybe, Ricky. But remember, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Ricky laughed and replied, How about a race, Timmy? It will be fun. Let's see who can reach the big rock at the top of the hill first. Timmy agreed, and they decided to race the next morning. Ricky went home, excited and confident that he would win. Timmy, on the other hand, went home and thought about the race. He knew he was slow but he also knew that being steady and persistent might give him a chance. The next morning, the animals of the forest gathered to watch the race. The starting line was marked, and the big rock at the top of the hill was the finish line. The owl, wise and fair, was the judge. Ready, set, go. He hooted. Ricky zoomed off leaving a trail of dust behind him. Timmy started at his own pace, slowly but steadily moving forward. Ricky ran so fast that he soon disappeared from sight. He felt so confident about his speed that he decided to take a nap under a shady tree near the halfway mark. I'll still win even if I take a short nap, he thought. Meanwhile, Timmy kept moving. His little legs carried him slowly but surely forward. He passed streams, climbed over rocks, and walked through grassy fields. The sun climbed higher in the sky, but Timmy did not stop. He remembered the wise words his grandfather had told him, slow and steady wins the race. Ricky slept soundly under the tree, dreaming of his victory. Hours passed, and Timmy continued his journey. The other animals cheered him on as he moved closer to the finish line. Finally, Ricky woke up and realized how much time had passed. He jumped up and started running as fast as he could towards the big rock. But it was too late. Just as Ricky reached the top of the hill, he saw Timmy touch the big rock with his little hand. The animals cheered loudly for Timmy, who had won the race with his determination and steady pace. Ricky felt embarrassed, but learned an important lesson that day. He went up to Timmy and said, Congratulations, Timmy. You were right. Slow and steady really does win the race. Timmy smiled and replied, Thank you, Ricky. It was a good race. We both did our best. From that day on, Ricky and Timmy remained good friends, and Ricky always remembered the lesson he had learned. They continued to have adventures together in the forest, and they both lived happily ever after. But the story doesn't end there. The race had made Timmy a bit of a hero in the forest, and many animals wanted to hear about his journey to the big rock. Timmy, always humble, would share his experience and emphasize the importance of perseverance and hard work. One day, a young squirrel named Sammy came to Timmy. Sammy was having trouble gathering enough nuts for the winter because he would get easily distracted and give up when things got tough. Timmy, Sammy said, how did you keep going even when the path was hard and long? Timmy smiled kindly and said, Sammy, it's all about taking one step at a time and not giving up. 
Whenever you feel like stopping, just remember why you started and keep moving forward, no matter how slow you think you are. Inspired by Timmy's words, Sammy started to gather nuts with a new determination. He would hum a little tune and remember Timmy's race whenever he felt tired. Slowly but surely, Sammy managed to gather enough nuts for the winter, and he was very proud of himself. Meanwhile, Ricky the rabbit also learned to appreciate other qualities besides speed. He started to help his friends with their tasks, using his speed not just for racing, but to lend a helping hand. He would run errands for the older animals, fetch water for the birds, and even help the beavers build their dams. Ricky and Timmy's friendship grew stronger. They would often go on walks together, exploring new parts of the forest. Timmy taught Ricky how to appreciate the beauty around them, to notice the flowers, listen to the birds, and enjoy the calmness of the forest. Ricky, in turn, taught Timmy how to find shortcuts and easier paths. One day, they came across an old, wise tortoise named Toby. Toby had seen many things in his long life and had traveled far and wide. He had heard about Timmy's race and wanted to meet him. Timmy, Toby said, you have shown great wisdom for one so young. Would you like to hear some stories of my travels? Timmy and Ricky were eager to listen. Toby told them about distant lands, high mountains, and deep rivers. He spoke of the vast desert where the sun was hot, and the nights were cold, and the endless ocean with its roaring waves. Timmy and Ricky were fascinated and inspired by Toby's tales. As the seasons changed, Timmy and Ricky continued to grow and learn. They had many adventures and met many new friends. The story of their race became a legend in the forest, and it was told and retold to young animals for many generations. One day, during spring, Ricky and Timmy decided to start a club for the young animals in the forest. They called it the Forest Friends Club. The club was meant to help young animals learn important lessons, just like Timmy and Ricky had learned from each other. The Forest Friends Club met every week under the big oak tree. Timmy and Ricky took turns sharing stories and lessons with the young animals. The young animals loved the club and looked forward to it every week. One week, Timmy shared a story about the importance of patience. Once, I wanted to climb a very tall tree to see the view from the top, Timmy began. It took me many days, but I did not give up. Each day, I climbed a little higher, until finally, I reached the top. The view was beautiful, and I felt very proud of myself. The young animals listened with wide eyes, and learned that good things come to those who wait and work hard. The next week, Ricky talked about helping others. One day, I found a bird with a broken wing, Ricky said. I used my speed to fetch help quickly, and we were able to save the bird. Helping others is very important, because we all need each other. The young animals nodded, understanding that kindness and helping others make the forest a better place. As time went on, the Forest Friends Club grew. More animals joined and they all learned valuable lessons. The forest became a place where everyone supported and cared for one another. One day, Timmy and Ricky decided to organize a big forest event. They called it the Great Forest Adventure. The event included fun games, races, and storytelling. All the animals were excited and looked forward to it. On the day of the great forest adventure, the forest was buzzing with excitement. The animals gathered at the clearing where the event would take place. Timmy and Ricky welcomed everyone and explained the different activities. 
There was a race for the rabbits, a climbing challenge for the squirrels, a swimming contest for the frogs, and a scavenger hunt for everyone. There were also storytelling sessions where the older animals shared their wisdom and experiences. The highlight of the event was the teamwork challenge. In this challenge, animals had to work together to complete a series of tasks. Timmy and Ricky emphasized that the key to winning was cooperation and communication. The teams were made up of different animals, so everyone had to use their unique skills to help the team. The challenge included building a shelter, finding food, and crossing a river using a raft. The animals worked hard and had fun, learning the importance of teamwork. By the end of the day, everyone was tired but happy. The Great Forest Adventure was a big success. Timmy and Ricky were pleased to see the animals working together and having fun. The event brought the forest community closer and strengthened the bonds between the animals. As the sun set, the animals gathered around a big bonfire. Timmy and Ricky stood up to speak. We are so proud of all of you, Timmy said. Today, we saw how amazing things can happen when we work together. Ricky added, remember, whether you are fast or slow, big or small, you all have something special to offer. Let's always support and help each other. The animals cheered and clapped. They sang songs, told stories, and enjoyed the warmth of the bonfire. It was a night to remember, and the beginning of many more adventures in the forest. The Forest Friends Club continued to meet every week. The young animals grew up with the lessons of patience, kindness, and teamwork. They passed these lessons on to their own children, and the spirit of the club lived on for generations. Timmy and Ricky grew older, but they remained the best of friends. They continued to explore the forest, discover new things, and inspire the younger animals. Their friendship showed everyone that differences could be a strength and that working together made everything better. And so, the forest remained a place of harmony and friendship, where every creature knew that slow and steady, combined with speed and kindness, could lead to wonderful adventures and a happy life. The story of Timmy the turtle and Ricky the rabbit became a legend teaching that perseverance and cooperation were the keys to success. And they all lived happily ever after, in the beautiful and vibrant forest they called home. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like and subscribe to our channel for more stories.